And this is a pretty awful hand, not having any blue mana sources. So we're going to mull it. Definitely better. Um, I think in this case... Uh, I'm not even sure. I'm going to put back out Awara. We'll, we'll probably dump Shauna and something else. We have a couple of enablers, unless we need Confounding Riddle to not die. Okay, not a bad draw. And a fix. Against black, I may want to just run out Shauna. Uh, especially since we have another one here. Um, so we'll we'll see. If I can get him to use uh, counter spells or removal on like on early creatures, we're usually plenty happy with that. Hmm, okay. Didn't really expect Jace there. Nothing we can do about it. Let's see what they do. I've read your you stop. Okay, they're milling for us. Interesting. Got two confounding riddles. That's a great mill for them. Yeah, we're going to hold on for right now. Um, we're going to play this at Ganjo. And we're going to play Shauna. I think it's reasonable to consider they remove, but they might just... Plus Jace on it, so in theory it doesn't do anything, but if they do that, Broker's Hideout will allow us to draw a card next turn. Shield Road would be bad for us. Cut down. Um, so we can Broker's Hideout and Shauna, kind of missing the opportunity to draw off Shauna. But I think we, we probably just need to do that. Our opponent is thinking about whether they want to allow us to sacrifice Broker side out. Get a green source here. Um, and I think again we just run out Shauna. I guess we we could we could cosmic rebirth for the Shauna that they killed. Um. Or I hate, I'd hate to see them counterspell that. Uh, but I might do it anyway, just because if it happens to work out, <clears throat> Shauna being able to ping off Jace would be nice. If they let us untap, we would have Confounding Riddle. It also gives us the opportunity to Confounding Riddle a... Uh, I don't know, a Shield Red or some, some sort of especially annoying card they might have. I would probably confounding riddle a um, Soren or Opponent is pretty uncertain, it seems, what to do with all that mana and that Jace. It's cool, fancy Jace. Is 
spells count X cards. When you look and play those cards for as long as they're mana. If you cast spells when you may spend mana there. So this sort of this gives them three cards. Um three of our cards. I mean I don't know how much I care about that. I might just let that resolve. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, where did the other cards go? Hmm. Well, we're going to rebirth our Shauna. This is actually really convenient <clears throat> um, that they happen to play it this way. Because we'll be able to bash with Shauna. We're going to play this as a land. We're going to remove this Jace. Um, we're going to draw two cards, I think, because I'd like to hold up Confounding Riddle. Yeah, those are fine cards, because we could really cast them both if we don't need to Confounding Riddle. Uh, I'd rather not use the other Cosmic Rebirth if I don't have to. For some reason, I like. I thought this card doesn't seem to be like a target opponent exiles the top X cards of their library face down. You may look at and play those cards as long as they remain exile. If you cast a spell this way, but like it looks like they only have one. I, I'm not understanding what happened to the others. Maybe this is to represent all of them. Maybe I don't understand how that card works. Iron Crag, I think, is fine. I don't really care about that. Certainly not going to confounding riddle it. Um, so I think we're going to flash Malcolm here. Maybe I should be protecting Shauna, but I don't know. I don't really care. Um, and since I have the mana, I'm going to otherworldly gaze. Just see if we can fix what we're looking for. Okay, there's a cut down from Malcolm. Totally fine. Thanks for letting me know that you're going to do that before I otherworldly gaze. That is, that is useful information for me. Opponent not certain if they want to allow us to otherworldly gaze. Maybe they have a way to bounce Shauna? Okay, Cosmic Rebirth, I want. I think Slogurk and Titania find their way into the bin. <clears throat> Alright, maybe I'd, I'd kind of be fine with all three of these, just having access to them, but... I think I think we're going to put them in the bin just to give us that flexibility end of turn against this controlling deck. Uh, and, and we'll still have one Cosmic Rebirth available to us, which is cool. Um, part of me wanted to just keep them all there so I could draw them off Shauna, but... I don't know. Yeah, so... I would like to hit... I would like to hit, um... a land, if possible. Now. So, we're gonna faithfully mend. It didn't hit a land. <laughs> That's pretty annoying. We're gonna dump the other Shauna. And we're going to dump Rona. Uh, I'm not going to play Oracle here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I want to dump Oracle. We have, is it, that, that'll set the loop up as long as they don't know what it is. But kind of annoying that we didn't hit land. I want to keep Confounding Riddle up. So we're going to end the turn. And we're going to... Well, jeez. Can't keep Confounding Riddle up. So we're just going to draw three. Go to seven. Yep, we got to those lands, but it was definitely late. I don't know if I mentioned it in the uh, uh, deck tech, but we're on 26 lands. They played Confounding Riddle. Nice. This could be an opportunity for them to set up uh, a mill. Uh, looks like they didn't get it. But I, I would not be surprised if that's what we're playing in. So there's our Restless Vine Stalk. Uh, 
Okay, so they are being able to play these cards from... Maybe that's why we didn't have any lands, because they've got them all. <laughs> I'll take note of all your failures. Yeah, getting Shauna there is a little annoying. Okay, so now we have Oracle, we've got Rona. Um, I think I want to get to the point where we just have 3 and 3 available to us. Um... Rona does at least present another threat. I think we're going to play Rona. Oof. I don't know. Rona represents another... We don't need a lot of cards right now, so Rona represents another threat. Um, I think we're going to play Broker's Hideout. Not going to draw a card off Shauna. Still a lot of white available to us, so... Rather just hold up. Rebirth and Riddle. Might consider rebirthing a Slogurk here. Depending on what they do. Deadly cover up. Serial creatures. Um they did collect evidence. Um let's see, Serial Creatures. Evidence exile a card from an opponent's graveyard, then search its owner's graveyard hand in the library for any number of cards. I don't I don't know what they would go for here, but I'd kinda of rather not find out. So we're gonna try to confounding riddle. Um I wouldn't be too surprised if they confounding riddle us back, but they didn't, so that's fine. The other thought was, like, have them target the card in my yard and then Cosmic Rebirth in response, but I didn't... If they had a counter spell, I'd rather they counter that than counter my Cosmic Rebirth. Okay, so there's a restless fine stock. We've got three and three here. Uh, we could flip Rona and go Bashin. Um, I don't... See, and if we did that, yeah, there's not much else we can do. So we're gonna we're gonna go that route. <laughs> yeah. Part of me wants to go straight for them, but I'm not sure if it's right or wrong. So we can at least otherworldly gaze if we wanna. Putting the opponent to 10 wouldn't have been the worst in the world, but having a Jace at like seven gets a little scary. E even though we do have Cosmic Rebirth into Oracle of Tragedy, you need to make sure we have an Oracle in here. Yeah, we do. But if that Cosmic Rebirth were to get, okay, Deadly Cover-Up. So here's where it goes again, and now we're going to let him do it. Um, but Because one, we don't really have a choice. And two, I'm just curious what they go for. Like, are they going for um, Titania? Because like right now we're pretty far away from T Titania activation. Oh, and then get any card. Exile a card from an opponent's graveyard. Let's see what they targeted. Okay, they're getting Faithful Mending. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's not it's not a terrible decision, I suppose. They know we have the Cosmic Rebirths now, which is a little annoying. Um, this thing has Death Touch? Yeah, Death Touch is annoying, too, because... Um, that means Restless Vine Stock. Okay, they're going. They're attacking. Okay. They're milling us, too. That definitely puts Titania way more online. Um, we just got to figure out how to, okay, so there's the Argoth. Sure. Become subdued. Let's 
see what uh, fixing a draw. I mean, like I'll just play it to Tanya. You no, know? um, I don't know if I want Depop in the graveyard. I don't know. It's not going to do me a ton of good out here. Actually, I probably don't want that card at all in this game. Um, but Titania into Slowgurk is fine. I mean, they've got to deal with Titania or they get nailed pretty good. Well, no, they don't because we don't have we don't have the land we're looking for yet. Um, but there are plenty of ways we could get it. Uh, in fact, I probably should have otherworldly gaze there, but. This deck is, again, it, it always presents a, a bunch of options. Kind of want an Oracle of Tragedy and get back Confounding Riddles and a Cosmic Rebirth. Yeah, since they know what we have, I think that's the play. Shuffle up to four cards. We'll get Confounding Riddle, Confounding Riddle, uh, Cosmic Rebirth. Hmm, I thought we knew we had a Slowgurk on top. Did we do something? I don't know. <laughs> We put it on the bottom. We didn't put it in the yard. Tiger player mills three cards. Okay. Okay, there was a slow gurk on top. I don't know why I wasn't showing it to us, but. So I made slow gurk. Uh, depending on what they do here, I made slow gurk at the end of turn. And I value three or less. Sure. Slowgurk can get pretty out of hand sometimes too. Restless Reef. Okay, we're running low on cards to the point where we may need to use these Cosmic Rebirths to just to not get milled. Problem with this deck uh, consistently milling us with Restless Reef, for example, is that we have to use a Cosmic Rebirth basically every turn. <laughs> yeah, there's another Argoth. No blocks. Alright, well, let's do it. We're going to target a slow gurk. Getting to the point where if we can get an Argoth, which, which like, if they allow this to resolve, now anytime slow gurk gets, leaves the battlefield, we're going to get that Argoth back, which is dope. Um, but we're running low on cards, and we're running low on Cosmic Rebirths. I would really wish I had another Cosmic Rebirth in hand. Uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna bash. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could. Hmm. I could fire up Restless Vine Stalk. One, two, three, four, five. Six and still have enough for a cosmic rebirth if they milled us out. Uh, that might be the play here. We're going to try it. And. We're going to assume that they don't understand the combo. And aren't going to be too worried about. Sure, Oracle can get 3 3. Okay. Yep, we have a 1 1. Can't block. Okay. There's Dream Root Castle. If they Jace, I guess I'm kind of hoping they Jace plus Fire Up Restless Reef. Because if they do, mm, okay, well that's annoying. Now we don't have a very convenient means of winning. Uh, well, I don't know. 
I wish the I wish the lands went back into play because if we had if we got Argoth, uh, let's see, just get both Argoths just in case. Oh, okay, maybe in a Ottawara, Argoth, Ottawara, and. Get a broker's hideout just in case. That can hit. That can hit the yard and make our dude a little bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have ten mana available. I think. Okay, so here's a Jace. I'm assuming they probably. Oh, they, okay. They, so they have it. If you, if they go full mill here, which is what I'm hoping they do, I'm hoping they just minus five, and go to attack us with Restless Reef. Um. Yeah. So this will allow us to decide pretty explicitly what remains in our deck, and it also means that they don't have any blockers. Hmm, okay, maybe they're savvy, uh, because they, they didn't force us to draw the last card. Uh, or they just have a counterspell, in which case, um, I'm... Let's see, have we seen any counterspells other than... Uh, I know I've seen... I thought we saw... Our own counterspell against them. Hmm. Well, we're going to draw this last card. Okay, so it's a Cosmic Rebirth, which is convenient. Um, so I think we play Argoth. Oh, shit. I forgot we didn't have a dude in play. So I wonder if they were leaving this up to block the vine stalk. I'm not sure, but I think I'm not doing anything. I may actually bash, see if they block. Because if they don't, Like, I don't care about getting milled anymore. I just care that the rebirth uh, resolves. And I won't have to worry about that as much if they block and kill the Oracle of Tragedy. Because when the Oracle of Tragedy dies, it will allow me to put cards on top of my deck. Okay. And that gives me two targets for the combo of bringing dudes back. Yep. Or putting stuff back in my library. Yep. So we're going to shuffle up to three cards. Um, may as well just get like, which Tanya is no good here. So, uh, I mean, so Titania, Aether Channeler. Um, Cosmic Rebirth are the cards I want on top of my library. Yep. So they'll mill us out. All those cards right back in the bin. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, yep. Interestingly, if they don't have counter spells, so we're going to start by targeting um, Oracle because we have to. Uh, without Oracle, we're dead. <clears throat> so, does it dissipate? Yep. And we're just gonna hope. Well, they, they, I don't think they can have another dissipate. But this is un unfortunate because now we don't quite have lethal. We can give them to one or something like that. So, uh, so we'll get Oracle. Uh, this is the Murex lets them have put it on the battlefield. Yep. Uh, shuffle up to four target cards. So in this case, we just want Cosmic Rebirths because we we really have to draw Cosmic Rebirth. We have another Cosmic Rebirth. Uh, one of them. Oh no, we don't. That's kind of annoying. Uh, but Aether Channeler can allow us to definitely get another Cosmic Rebirth. So with these three cards, unless they do some milling action right now, we will be guaranteed a Cosmic Rebirth, which allows us to keep this cycle going. We're 54 minutes in, and we just have a deck tech and almost two games. How close is our opponent to getting milled out? 32, not close. Okay, so there's, unfortunately, there's the Aether Channeler. Uh, so we're going to have to play it to draw. Um, which means, do we have enough to bash bash? Because right now, if they don't have anything, they're dead. Um, but we, man, we don't quite have enough. Well, we could do it on the beginning of our upkeep. So let's see. We draw... We draw here. This is probably bad sequencing, but... Draw a card. And now we have a Cosmic Rebirth. And we cannot quite Cosmic Rebirth and... Attack. Uh, but we're going to attack, I think. I'm gonna force the issue. We we can technically cosmic rebirth on our own upkeep. And if they happen to have nothing here, I don't know what those last two cards are, but like We could just win. We'll take it. One and one. I don't know that we're getting to seven games with uh, Shauna, Shauna dot deck or Titania dot deck or Slogurk dot deck or Bant Rebirth, but that was a cool example of uh, what we talked about loop wise in the deck tech uh, that it's hard for a mill deck to beat you if you can keep that loop alive.